The path of these creatures in the kindergarten apparently continues to fragment. And now through these creepy sculptures we reveal their earlier story as well as the origin of the new Bam Bam Gang. That's right, this is gonna be epic, because today we'll be able to see their human forms before being the terrifying creatures that we already know, with a little detail that will make them very special. But to know the terrifying story of these creatures, we must contact our horror specialist. You know who I'm talking about, right? Come on, it's so easy to guess. That's right, she's talking about me! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Winnie, and you better get ready because this video is going to be amazing and very shocking, so let's start with the story! As we all know, Bam Bam's kindergarten is a gloomy place where strange things have happened lately. However, it wasn't always like this. In the past, this place was one of the most prestigious kindergartens in the entire city, where only the most intelligent children could enter, who learned so many things to be very successful in their future. In this place, there were many children, but some of them just stood out from the rest, and among them was Bam Bam. That's right, Winnie. Bam Bam was such a problematic child. He was the type of boy who liked to bully others and make fun of them, except for a girl who always used to protect, but we will see this later. This boy had a mohawk hairstyle and it looked like two horns on his head. And what he enjoyed more than anything else was telling horror stories to his classmates about how there was a monster that devoured children and took their organs with him. Due to this behavior, Bam Bam spent a lot of time being punished in the principal office, until one day, suddenly this boy was never heard from again. From this moment, the strange events would begin to occur, and with the arrival of this terrifying Bam Bam, nothing would ever be the same. Creatures are incredible and their stories are even better, but before continuing remember to leave your epic and failing like as well as subscribe to the channel, that's how you support us to continue creating the best sculptures. That's right Winnie, and now let's move on to the kindergarten officer and we all know him as Sheriff Todster or the Brown Toad. Well, when the kindergarten was at its peak of popularity, all the children in the city wanted to be students of this prestigious place, and among them was our little sheriff, who was accepted without problems, standing out for being very responsible and intelligent. This kid was completely shy, bold, and wore a cute little hat, as well as always having a big smile on his face and rather deep set eyes. Some people said that sheriff was so mature for his age that the teacher gave 
him important tasks like guardian the corridors and helping to keep order in this kindergarten. However, it was really difficult to control children like Bon Bon as they were very chaotic. Despite always trying to get everyone to treat each other with respect, they just ignore him. That's why one day he got tired and quite upset, so Sheriff hit one of his classmates, then knocked him down. Sheriff spent a lot of time in detention, where only a little brown top kept him company during those long hours of punishment. But suddenly, a strange door opened and Bam Bam appeared in front of him. This boy tried to scream and run away, but he was quickly captured and turned into the monster that we already know. No, all he wants is to maintain order among these terrifying creatures, and despite having a very friendly appearance, Sherry Dodster has a deep grudge against everyone and can be quite dangerous. This video is turning out amazing, the sculptures are quite epic, as well as the stories that reveal interesting information about these characters. So now it's time to meet Bambalina, Bamban's current girlfriend. In the past, Bambalina was a friendly and peaceful girl. She always wore a little pink bow in her hair and dressed like a doll, but despite being so kind, there were many children who teased her and made fun of her hairstyle, so you could often see her crying alone. This will be the beginning of a love story even stronger than the cause of this place, because even though many students made fun of her, there was always a boy who defend her from all these mistreatments, being the same one who harassed the others, that's right, Bam Bam! Well, this troubled child seemed to have a crush on Bambalina, so they started spending more time together. However, the problem began when Bam Bam disappeared and as a result, Bambalina was transferred to another school due to the strange disappearances that were occurring. But she had other plans in mind and she wouldn't leave her beloved boy for long. After many investigations, Bambalina returned to this kindergarten because she found out what had happened with Bam Bam. So she infiltrated the place, but on her way, she ran into Jumbo Joshen. When he was going to eat her, Bam Bam came to her rescue. This reunion was very tender because Bambalina accepted her new appearance, and Bam Bam proposed her a lifetime by his side, both sharing a similar appearance. This is how Bambalina chose her own destiny, and now she spends her days in this kindergarten with the love of her life scaring those who dare to enter this place. Now, moving on to the next sculpture, it's time to meet the strangest and most disturbing child in the whole kindergarten. Nowadays, we know him as the terrifying Nam Nam Spider. When this place opened its doors, Nam Nam was one of the first children enrolled there. However, he was never popular as everyone thought he was such a weird kid because he was a big fan of spiders. So he constantly scared the other kids with his little friends and for some 
some reason made him feel in danger. But this boy made the mistake of trying to scare Bambalina, so Bam Bam quickly came out to the fender and ended up punching Nab Nab in the face, making him look ridiculous in front of the other children who began to make fun of his strange hobbies. It's precisely at this moment that Nab Nab's hatred against everyone was born, so now he just wants to take revenge on Bam Bam and his gang, and when the disappearances occurred, this child began to investigate him. His appearance was that of a normal boy, although he always had a punky blue hairstyle off and his hair looked like the legs of a spider. This is one one day he managed to find out where they were doing those experiments and he could see that Bam Bam had already turned into a monster, so if he wanted revenge he also had to transform into one, so he infiltrated the place and activated the mysterious machine to finally become an abomination. But he didn't do it alone since one of his best spiders had also entered. Moving on to the next sculpture, Josh was a chubby boy who was in Bam Bam's kindergarten because he was a smart child, but his main problem was junk food, he liked to eat a lot of it, so his parents sent him here, hoping it would help their son undo his bad eating habits. But since this child entered this kindergarten, he was constantly bullied and mistreated by others, especially by Bam Bam, because just like we saw it, he was the most problematic student, and also several times during the day, many classmates made fun of Josh for his weight and the shape of his body, they even made cruel jokes, telling him that he would never be a healthy boy. But one day, Josh got tired of being teased, so with the help of his teachers, he started eating lots of fruits and vegetables, he just wanted to be a healthy boy, so he would never be teased about his physical appearance again, but one rainy afternoon, Josh was very hungry, and he started to smell a very pleasant and familiar food. As he was hungry, he realized that it was coming from the principal's office, where the door was curiously open, and when he came in, Josh could see a delicious hamburger on the desk, so without thinking much, he sat in the principal's chair to finally eat it. Josh started to feel very tired until he fell asleep, and when he recovered, he was tied to a strange bed. Suddenly, from the shadows, a terrifying creature appeared. It was Bam Bam. Then he put a mask with a weird substance on Josh, turning him forever into a monster that we all know as Jumbo Josh. This new creature will force you to eat your vegetables, and if you don't do what he says, you may be his next dinner. It's time to learn about the origin of one of the most iconic characters, 
But before this, remember to leave your powerful like to support this amazing video. Opila Berg was once a sweet and tender girl named Opila. She was a bird lover and dreamed of being a great nature photographer when she grew up. Her abilities were very noticeable because of her great vision and big eyes. That's why she was admitted to Bam Bam's kindergarten. Unfortunately, her relationship with her parents was not very good. Many students could see her crying alone or withdrawing herself from the others because she was in a bad mood all the time. But also, this girl had as a friend a little pink bird that accompanied her everywhere. It really seemed to be her only friend because she was always laughing with him. So the other children were afraid of her. They just thought Opila was very strange. This girl before her tragedy wasn't capable of harming anyone until one day while she was playing with his feather friends and Bam Bam appeared, grabbing the bird and throwing him out of a window. But the bird couldn't fly very well, so he started to fall straight to the ground. That was how Bam Bam ended his life. Opila was really mad at him, so she started to hit him until she got tired. After the incident, she was expelled from this kindergarten, and years later she returned for revenge, but Bam Bam as a monster turned her into the pink demon chicken that we already know. There are rumors that say that Opila Bird is the only monster Bam Bam is afraid of, since she was the only one capable of hurting him. Now she spends her days watching with her big eyes the people who enter this kindergarten, waiting for the moment to attack them. character is nothing more and nothing less than slow sailing. Although in the past she was only known as sailing, she used to be a blonde-haired girl with a very particular hairstyle because it looked like the shell of a snail. Also, this girl used to wear glasses and because of this she was constantly teased by the other children. However, she tried not to pay attention to them and just concentrated on the sports because that was what she liked the most since Selin was really fast and agile. However, one day while running in a competition, a bad boy knocked her down hard, and due to the force of the impact, Selin broke her leg. They quickly took her to the kindergarten infirmary, and since everyone heard her cries of pain, they believed that it was because of her leg, but she was actually under the special treatment of Bam Bam. That's how this gloomy snail was born, who tricks us into thinking that she is very slow when she can really catch you in a single blink. So be careful if you run into selling and you'd better not make fun of her appearance because if you're nice to her, she might take pity on you and give you a little change of getting out alive. Time has come to talk about the most beloved captain in this kindergarten. That's right, we're talking about Captain Fiddles. And before telling you about his origins, let us know in the comment section who is your favorite Bam Bam character. 
Now, continuing with the story, the captain was the youngest child in the whole place. You could always see him playing with other kids or himself. Even though he was such a playful child, he didn't hop all his teeth yet, so it was difficult for him to speak. But despite this, he had incredible physical abilities, such as strength, agility, and coordination in all his movements. That's the reason why he was accepted in the prestigious kingdom. Garden. This little boy never seemed to get tired of playing in this place. Sometimes other children made fun of him. They said he looked like a caveman because he couldn't speak well, but that didn't matter to him. His innocence and kindness were bigger than any offense, so you never saw him sad or angry. His only interest was to have a good time playing and laughing. Due to this enthusiasm, he met another boy with curly orange hair, who would become his best friend because both of them liked to play for hours in this kindergarten. Also, they had the same favorite game, which was about pirates who sailed through all the seas of the world. But this boy would be a problem since one day playing with a friend, Captain Fiddles used his wooden sword and accidentally injured his eye. Desperate to see his friend suffering and unable to help him, the captain just ran away into a strange room he had never been before. Due to the darkness and confusion of the moment, he fell down a deep hole. Since that day, no one has seen this playful child again, and now, due to events that have no explanation, the creature we all know would be born, which always looks happy and wants to play with someone. It also has few teeth, cannot speak very well, and after all, is very strong. Time has come to introduce the well-known students of Teacher Bambalina. That's right, we're talking about the cool basketball, the mean bowling pin, and the unpopular watering can. That's right, because believe it or not, those objects were also children in the past. And as you may guess, Bam Bam's great evil knew no bones, and his gruesome experiments had gone too far. Well, it all started when the children attended classes. In their classroom, there were many social groups divided into cool kids, mean kids, and unpopular kids who were very intelligent students. The problem started when the students had to do a project, so a mean kid, an unpopular kid, and a cool one had to do together because of their teacher. Then the cool kid proposed his classmates to go to the classrooms at the back of the kindergarten because they would find great things and there wouldn't be other children to bother them. Despite the fact that the other children didn't agree, they decided to follow him, and when they arrived, each one of them found objects that caught their attention, which were a basketball, some bowling pins, and a few watering cans. The kids decided to play with those objects, trying to have a good time at school, but the fun ended drastically when they began to hear very strange and unusual sounds coming from an unknown room. So they quickly hit each one hugging an object because of the deep fear they felt. Unfortunately, a mysterious reddish creature appeared who called himself the principal of the kindergarten. So he took those kids to a strange place, warning them to obey all his orders. 
They had to wait a long time until a white creature finally found those kids and took them to a classroom where they were organized by respective social groups. What we didn't know is that these children had already been turned into these subjects that specific day. Bam Bam had done this only with the aim of satisfying the most twisted ideas of our Bambalina. She wanted to be a teacher and her dream came true. And as you may have guessed, the cool kid turned into a ball, his mean friend into a bowling pin, and finally the unpopular one turned into a watering can. And despite me dropping these subjects, their souls are still of those little children. That's why we can find some of their phrases in the class of the white demon, and unfortunately they remain like this for all eternity. It's very sad. It's incredible how fast time flies when you're having fun creating these characters. Now, in the last part of the video, we will see the smilest and most slippery character of the Bam Bam Gang. That's right, we're talking about Stinger Flynn, who is a kind of purple jellyfish with large tentacles and just one eye. Now, let's talk about his dark past. And as we already saw in the captain's story, this boy was his best friend. Flynn was also a big fan of everything related to the sea and marine adventures. So both of them started to play together as Flynn pretended to be a giant octopus and his favorite pirate tried always to catch him. There were many hours of fun at school where Flynn used to play with foam tubing, pretending to have many tentacles like a sea creature and with those he tried to sing the captain's imaginary boat, but all these childish games only ended in tragedy, losing his eye and his best friend. That's the reason why he began to use a pirate punch to cover his wound. Rawr. Almost immediately, Flynn was transferred to another school because his parents had been very worried about his eye accident, but the boy didn't care much about that. His biggest concern was to know about his friend and if he was okay. That's why one night he ran away from home and returned to the kindergarten. This is how he came to a place he had never been before, which had a huge aquarium. Amazed and excited by the beauty of this, he didn't realize that a strange creature was behind him, and before he could turn around, the creature knocked him out with a big blow to the head. When Flynn woke up, he couldn't feel his arms and legs, and when he finally got up, he noticed his horrible transformation into this creature. He began to climb over the walls of the kindergarten with his big tentacles, hiding in one of the vents because he felt very scared by his new appearance. Some people said that this creature is not dangerous, because his only desire is to be with his best friend again, then together escape from this horrible place. Even though subjects have an unfortunate past, I never would have guessed! So 
please like and subscribe to support our channel and don't forget to comment what's been your favorite sculpture. I also leave you these two videos that are also very epic and you should go watch them right away. But after all, continue creating your new ability.